I'm out in the backyard and we have some drainage problems out here when it rains really hard. And this year has been a great year for rain. We've had a ton of it, which I'm not complaining because it's really helping the grass and the landscaping and, of course, the crops that the uh, farmers have put in. But we got to help with the runoff on our property. Let me show you what's happening to the back of my property, and then I'll talk about what I'm going to do because I'm out here today measuring so that I can price out what it's going to take to do it. This is the back of my property. You can kind of see the little divot there where the water runs. And as it comes down through, you can see where it starts eroding away at the yard. And then we get a little farther down and take a look at what's happening here. It's really, really eating away at the ground. That, that's probably six to eight inches deep. Well, probably eight to ten inches deep. And then we got this little ugly looking area here we got to take care of. Now my neighbor also has an issue, which I need to talk with him, right here, his yard all comes down and washes right out of that area there, and it's washing along his fence, washing his fence out, and his landscaping, and then it washes down over the edge. What I'm going to do is talk to him about putting a grate on his side, and we'll run a piece of pipe over and wide into my drain pipe. And what I'm going to do is up here at the corner of the house, we're going to start out, you see that gutter over there on the edge of the house? We're going to put a, uh, a four inch pipe from that gutter all the way down to the back of the property behind the shed. And what we'll do is we'll have a grate. This is a little better view. You can see the pipe. I'll put a grate right here. And then on the inside of the grate, I'll put a Y and we'll hook that drain in with a four inch pipe. The grate will be hooked to a six inch pipe. It'll run down along the shed. Over here on this side, we'll put another grate. A little farther down, we'll put a third grate to accept all the runoff. There's another pipe there. That pipe will have a four inch pipe that'll come down. And just after that grate, it'll, it'll Y in and run down the property. And we'll have another grate right about here, another grate here, another grate here. My neighbor's water is right here, so it'll run in and Y in just after the last grate. Then we've got another gutter right there which will run down four inch pipe and will um, Y in right here. And I've got one final pipe up there that uh, I'm gonna, it's at the corner of the house that I'm gonna run in and will Y in just before uh, we end the pipe. And the six inch pipe will end as you're, as you're down here. You can see the drain. The six inch pipe will end right there and will come down and we'll 45 into this grate. Now, that's phase one of the project. We'll get all that built back up so it's not all torn down. All the dirt we dig out from the trenches, we'll plug in there and fill in the holes. We'll also dig out under his pipe and lower it more to ground level so that it's running. My pipe will end right at the, at the grate and it may actually poke under the grate if I can do that. Um, and then we'll get all these rocks out here and we'll come back for phase two, which I'll talk about that when I start planning it. So we've got all our measurements taken this morning, and I just need to go in and figure out the total footage of pipe that I need, or total length of pipe, uh, number of elbows, Ys, all that kind of stuff. And I'll run to a local pipe distributor and get, um, well, sorry about that, the sun's kind of bad there. I'll run to a local pipe uh, distributor and I'll get uh, the quote for all of that tubing and grating and elbows, etc. I'll let you guys know what it's going to take, and then uh, you'll probably see me doing a little work on it. Stay tuned. Thanks for hanging out with me. Running into the post office to pick up my mail and then uh, I'm going to zip over to Menards and just do some pricing on uh, the gutter pipe just to kind of get an idea what, what it's going to cost. And uh, then I've got a, a universal pipe place over here that sells pipe to a lot of the construction companies and whatever. Um, I'll check the film during the week and see who's got the better price and uh, we'll get some pipe to get this ditch taken care of so hang tight and I'll let you know if I find out anything interesting. Made it back from Menards. I got everything priced for my uh, drain pipe project. Um, it's going to be a little more expensive than I thought but it's something that needs to be done so I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and do it. Um, while I was there I also picked up a couple other things. Remember I talked about my daughter's volleyball net? Well let me show you what I got. This is one of the pipes for the net. It's got the little score numbers on there for scoring the game. What I'm going to do is I bought another piece of pipe here, five foot piece, let me back up a little bit, five foot piece of PVC. I'm going to cut about two and a half foot of that off 
and drive it into the ground and I'll leave it in the ground. I also bought a couple of caps. This was a suggestion I got from someone. And whenever she pulls the pipes out, she can just drop a cap over it. It'll be below the lawnmower level, so I'll be able to go right over it and cut. But it won't fill up with dirt, debris, or water. The two silver pipes you see there, those are conduit. What I'm going to do is they fit. Hang on a second, I'll show you. That piece of conduit fits very tightly inside of the post, the uh, volleyball post. So what I'm going to do is I'll drive this pipe into the ground and I can slide the conduit inside of the post and I can just drop the post into this piece of pipe in the ground to hold it up so it's nice and quick and when it comes to cutting the grass I can just lift it out, throw it up on the on the patio, cut the grass, cut right over it and she can stick it back into the ground in just a matter of minutes so it's easy up, easy down for the net. So I'm really happy about that. I also picked up a can of the clay colored paint. Now Something I hadn't thought of, and somebody brought it to my attention, I shot two coats on that plastic uh, drain pipe out front. And um, I was going to look around and try to find clay color in the plastic paint. And I got a comment, and I wish I could remember the person's name. I don't off the top of my head, and I apologize. But it was a killer comment. And they said, look, once you have two coats of paint on there, paint is going to stick to paint, so it's probably not going to matter if you get the Krylon you know, for metal, the rust-resistant Krylon, or... or or the plastic Krylon, it's just not going to matter because it's going to stick. And it just something clicked, you know, the little light bulb went off and it's like, dang, that makes perfect sense. So I just picked up the color I need and we're going to reshoot that pipe maybe tomorrow. Um, tonight, I'm, I think I'm pretty well done for the night. And I got one more thing. Let me show you this. I got a bag of mortar mix. I started to buy a little small container, but the small container was seven bucks. The bag was four and some change. So, and I figured I can use this in a future project I've got going with the drain. I'm gonna put some bricks out there, so I'll just hang on to it and use it then. But let me show you what I got this for. This will be an interesting one, and, and I'll film it. I know some of you guys out there probably do masonry work. You know, you, you brick, and you know how to do it and how to do it properly, how it should be done. Let me adjust this camera around here. There we go. Um, I've got, my house is like I said, just a few months old, seven months old or whatever since I moved in. And I've already got a little problem. And this, this blows my mind how incredibly poorly this was done. And those of you who do masonry work for a living uh, are going to look at this and it's probably going to make you sick because, you know, you understand how to do this properly and you understand the person that did this is not a masonry professional. But let me show you what, what's happening. This is one of the decorative posts on my front porch. I mean, look at this. They just basically shoved it in there and it's, it's just, it's falling out. So I need to re-tuck that, and that's what that, that mortar is for. I'm going to put it in there and re-tuck it, and then I'm going to check closely because I will bet you if that happens in one place, that there's a darn good chance that it's happening somewhere else. So it just makes me sick that you know, it was so poorly done in a new house. So we got a couple projects coming up. Let's see, we're going to fix the volleyball net. We're going to repaint the, the uh, drain going into the ground over there so that it matches. We're going to retuck this uh, mortar here, and uh, I'll be working on the drain project, so you guys will see a little bit of that as it goes along. Uh, what I'm going to do tonight is uh, I had a rough estimate of my, you know, on my measurements, and I had to get some information like how long the drains were and things like that, so it affects the numbers. So what I've got to do is uh, refigure everything so I get an exact figure for what I need. And then I'm going to try to break it down, since I, I mentioned that it was a lot more expensive than I expected. I told my wife I'll break it into sections. <clears throat> and what I'll do is, is I'll start at the end and just do one section, you know, one drain out to the, to the main drain. And then just work my way back as I go. Because truthfully, if I go out and spend all the money on all the piping, it's going to lay in the garage because digging the trenches is not something that's going to happen very quickly. So I figure I'll buy the stuff to do the first trench. We'll do it. Then we'll come back when that's done and we'll buy the stuff for the second one. And uh, I still spend the same amount of money, but it does take a little bit of the sting out of it because, you know, you can kind of manage it uh, and plan for it in between pay periods. So um, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you found this interesting and uh, I'll see you real soon. And you'll see me doing some, some of these projects around here to get this place in shape. Have a great evening, everybody.